Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's talk about how the third row elements, sulfur and phosphorus, are incorporated in functional groups. Sulfur is not very commonly found in drugs, and phosphorus is a rarity. Still, these, appear, these elements do appear in drugs and drug-like molecules. Sulfur is most commonly encountered as either a thiol or a thioether. Thiols are also known as mercaptans. And thioethers are sometimes called sulfides. Sulfur is often seen in five-membered aromatic rings in drug-like molecules. Because sulfur is a third row element, some of its functional groups involve an expanded octet. These always involve double bonds between sulfur and oxygen. One example is a sulfoxide. In the sulfoxide, the sulfur has a lone pair. So it has 10 valence electrons, four bonds, and one lone pair, and violates the octet rule. Another closely, re uh, another closely related example is the sulfone. One of the most common sulfur functional groups found in drugs is the sulfonamid. which may have additional R groups in place of the hydrogens on the nitrogen. Phosphorus is uncommon in drugs. When seen, it often has an expanded octet and a double bond to the oxygen. One case is as a phosphonic acid, in which the phosphorus is bonded to an R group and two OH groups. Although uncommon, both sulfur and phosphorus can be incorporated in functional groups that are sometimes found in drug-like molecules.